Today, ripping a pack of, a solo pack of 84 Tops football. Um, yeah, I promised this a couple of weeks ago, and here we are. Um, hoping for, of course, some of the key rookies of Marino, Elway, Eric Dickerson. Um, and then speaking of putting things off, I was invited, very nice, of other YouTube channels to invite me to participate in the Movember. And I... I dropped the ball on that a little bit, so basically look at it that I gave them a head start. I just shaved yesterday. It's November 6th today, so but I grow hair like a damn gorilla, so I will probably catch up and pass them with the... I'm going to go for the... Oh, so the channels that I'm... I'll put them in the description. Uh, Ripping Packs for You, Football Guy USA, and Wax Pack Dad. All awesome channels. Support them, too. Um... And uh, they have much better explanations of this whole thing. Like I said, I'm so late to the party. So tune into them, too, to see. There's going to be giveaways and everything, too. And I just, I'm playing catch-up. But, um, so I'm going to go for the, uh, everybody know who Sam Elliott is? Awesome actor. I'm going to go for that. Also, the baseball player from the early mid-'80s, uh, Tim Blackwell. I mean, basically, I'm going to go for the full Caterpillar goal. So that's my goal. Let's see if we grow one of those in a month. But um, for now, let's open 84. Tops football, I'm excited about this one. That's kind of why I've been setting it aside for a long time because then when I open it, it's over and I don't have any more 84 Tops football to open. <laughs> Let's dive into this. Um, it threw me off. I, I was noticing how dark it is with the cruddy lighting in this room at night. And my camera decided to, I think, kick on a flashlight. It's so dark with this recording. So that's uh, that's going to help. Um, thank you, camera, phone, whatever, technology. Um, I don't really know who's on back, so I'm going to try not to look. Uh, John Hanna, Hall of Famer on the front, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to try to open this at an angle like this so I don't see. Like I said, Baseball Card Exchange, I've had awesome luck with um, with their packs, even with kind of more, you know, common, the condition of some of the common cards. They're just such, they take such good care of their unopened product. Um, in my recent pay, PSA reveal where I had another, it was just a common that came back a PSA 10 from a 78 pack I opened. That was another one from, I don't wanna rough this pack up. Um, Another one from Baseball Card Exchange, and so that's twice now where I've opened a 78 pack from them, sent in the card, the other one being a Fred Lynn, which actually is a four-figure card in a 10, shockingly, um, that I've sent to PSA that I've gotten 10s um, from Baseball Card Exchange packs. So um, that's just good to know, FYI, if anybody wants to buy legit unopened stuff. I know the price is going to be higher than elsewhere, but you're getting the quality sometimes worth it, so... There's going to be gum in this, so I'm going to try not to dump it on the pool table, even though the dog has now decided that she can jump on the pool table, which has been kind of ticking me off a little bit, um, that uh, she's doing that. And because there's a little bit of uh, dirt on the pool table. So that's okay. All right, the gum came out clean, so now we're just going to go through cards. Um, Hannah. Hall of Famer. So I'm actually going to sleeve these as we go um, because, again, <laughs> I think I've done this three or four times saying that, okay, yeah, some people use the slit corners for sleeves, but too many times I've seen people recently pull a card and go, like, like hurt it trying to get it in the sleeve. So I use these <laughs> very worn out. I think they're 85 Donruss. So you can see how much I've used them so, to slide cards in. So I put them that way, kick them to that side. And then you're getting the card in, and then you put the corner in, and then you just swing it over. So you're getting it in the sleeve without catching a corner because you're using these to open up the sleeve and being able to get this card in, in between, and then sliding it in with these cards holding the sleeve open for you. So just, so you don't bang your corners when you're putting them into sleeves. That's, that's just something I've always done, and... You can do it if you like. I think it helps so you don't potentially bang a corner. Um, 
His are a nice shape off center, but that's okay. Dennis Harrison. Instant replay of, there's another card behind this I grabbed too. Bill Kenny. Gary Green, Pro Bowler. So Chiefs quarterback, I don't remember him. Gary Green, another Chiefs. Ken Anderson, I think, I think, is he a Hall of Famer? I mean, he played forever, so we're going to sleeve him up too. One of the uh, more long-time... <gasps> Oh, I saw the uh, Pro Bowl Dolphins. Duh, I thought it was Marino. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Get Ken Anderson in here. Long career. Wow, and with one team. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to put him up. All right, so that was not Marino. It's Bob Bumauer. A nose tackle. Alzado, I mean, I don't know if he's a Hall of Famer, but he was a key to Raiders teams. So we're going to, so what I'm doing, I'm sleeve it. So this, pretend this is Alzado going in. So what it does is it goes in the sleeve between the cards. And so it's the corner safe because it's in between this card and that. Alzado going in and then when I spin it this way I make sure it's resting against the right side and then drop that corner in between the guide cards and then so you're you're coming in you're not hurting the corner and then you're coming in. I mean it's catching there because I don't have it this is one of the guide cards I'm just showing you what Alzado in between these cards looks like the sleeve is wide enough then you can come down in the sleeve without catching a corner here and then you pull the guide cards so that's just so that's just Technique that I've just always used. And so you slide these to the left so the corner can get in and then slide Alzado's corner down in there between the cards, pull the cards, and there you go. Anyways, I'll shut up about that. Just little tips. All right, uh, Everson Walls. He's another good player. He's gonna get sleeved up. I don't know why I'm deciding to sleeve him on video. Um, sometimes they sit on these stands for a few days before I get to them and I just you know, don't want them sitting out. I mean, they're not, I mean, that's off center. It's not a valuable card, but still pretty cool. One of the key Dallas players, Kenny Easley. He was another good player. Chris Hinton, pro bowler. Joe Ferguson. Henry Marshall. Tony Galbraith. Billy Sims. Here we go. Don't know if he's a Hall of Famer. I don't know my football as well as baseball, but still. A good running back there, late 70s, early 80s. Oops, that goes in a stand because it's sleeved. Um, all right, our instant win game. Oh, I thought that was, I saw the Bears. And I'm, oh, it's uh, Peyton. Nope, Covert. A tackle. A little bit like JD Vance in there. Norm Johnson. Bruce Harper. Kent Hill. Fred Dean. Man, these are all off center though. It's a little bummer, but still, it's fun rip. They used to hold up signs, Dean Fence, instead of defense. Dean Fence, Dean Fence. Bob Kreider. Oh, I thought it's some bears again, and it's it's a Suey, not a Peyton. It's a good had a couple good years, didn't he? Yeah, not really, not many. 
Not a thousand yard rusher. I just remember the name. Hartenstein. Another bear. Leon Wright. Oh, Leon Bright and Louie Wright is next. Leon Bright. Louie Wright. We're running out of cards. Another bear that's not Peyton. Come on. Uh, Noah Jackson. Ooh. Leo Wisniewski. Oh, Bill Kenny. Oh, we got his in action all pro thingy with Bobber and Michael Morton. Okay, so no big hit. We got a group of decent hits. Anderson, Alzado, Hannah, Sims, and Everson Walls. All off center, but still fun rip. I've been needing to get around to this pack. So um there we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Quick rip and oh. Yeah, and another promise for before the end of the year. I'd already promised of opening. So we'll be opening a uh, a seventy uh, a seventy seven football rack before the end of the year, a seventy five football rack before the end of the year, and I just picked up. Yes, it was expensive, but seeing the auction values of some of the nines and tens of this set, and also um, Vintage Baseball Corner, another awesome channel, YouTube channel, uh, is putting together a high-grade 75 set. So if I get any high grades out of this, they're going to probably go to him. A 75 rack pack. And kind of what's cool, he needs one of the leader cards in higher grade than he does. And it happens to be the 74 leading fireman. So this will be fun to open and see if this is really nice condition to get graded. Um, no stars showing, but everything looked nice on it. I sent an offer. They counter-offered. I accepted the counter-offer because... I haven't opened 75 in a long time, and that will be fun. And then one other channel who's doing the, that I know of, that I've talked to recently, it's doing the um, Movember, is Maiden's World of Wax. Definitely get over there. Check him out. Um, last Friday, we went through, uh, we had fun going through a bunch of hockey cards on uh, Friday the 1st. So that video should be up. All right, you guys, have a good night.